Hello again everyone, welcome to another video. So the topic of this deep dive video is going to be dot versus square bracket notation. Um, and it's quite a, <laughs> it's a very specific video topic. Um, it's more specific than I think we would usually go on these topics, but uh, the, the, the thing about it is, that it, is it makes a really big difference and the ways in which it makes a really big difference um, are uh, not clearly explained to everyone or everyone doesn't exactly understand the difference between the two. Um, and so we're going to do a little bit of that and then we're also going to just kind of do a general kind of revision uh, period over the kind of data traversal within an object and getting data out of an object and stuff like that. Um, so let's make a new object. Um, this object is going to be um, me. It's a pretty classic move. <laughs> um, uh, so we'll go like this and then open up a new object and then we're going to have all the classic things in here all of the things <laughs> that now we are very used to seeing in these videos um, uh, like this and then we'll have my uh, sometimes we have the children one in here as well these are my children ones that I know about anyway <laughs> no just kidding um, cool so here um, we're going to console log out some properties just to start with. So let's console log out. Uh, well, let, let's just start by console logging out um, just my entire object. There it is. So you can see we've got um, the name, the age is called children, all of that kind of stuff. So um, something that you know um, probably by this point is that we can get the name property by doing joseph.name. There it comes back, Joseph. And then we can also get the name property by doing this. I'll write it on a new line. Console log Joseph square brackets and then name inside a pair of quote marks like that. Joseph, Joseph. Right, this is cool. So these two things, Joseph.name and Joseph's square brackets name inside quote marks does the same thing. So what is the point of having dot notation and square bracket notation? Why bother having these two different forms of notation? Why not just have one? Um, there is a reason, of course. <laughs> so let's explore that. Um, also, one thing to note before we dive into that is like, see here, I'm putting this name in these quote marks, right? That shows that I'm interested in accessing the name property. If I didn't have name and quote marks, let's just see what this is like. So if I'm using just console log Joseph name, no quote marks, like I am here, you know, Joseph dot name Joseph name here it comes back oh name is not defined problem 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 so why is that happening it's because uh, whenever you see name is not defined it means um, the computer is looking for a variable and it can't find it that's all it means so here on line 10 we are seeing Joseph and name it thinks name is a variable here because like how do I access a variable I just type it out like here I'm accessing the Joseph variable I just type it out right if I wanted to be accessing um, a, a string that was you know the words Joseph I'd put it inside quote marks like that but that's not what I want I want the name of the variable so here the same thing is happening on line 10 it is trying to access a name variable property right so it is putting in um, this variable that doesn't exist and then it's freaking out um, so like I, I could fix that <laughs> through a super happy way. Look at this. What, what would happen if I went like this? Name equals name. Can you see what's happening there? So uh, it, 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 I am using the variable, but the variable is just pointing to a string that is name, and then I run it, and it's fine. But you know, obviously we would never do that. That's a waste of time. If you want to use the square bracket notation um, like that, you're going to use the quote marks. But, so what, in what situations would we want to use a variable, right? There are a few different situations in which you might want to use the variable, um, and we're going to go into those now. So let's think of an example where um, I know that I want to get a piece of data out of this object, right? Maybe I want to get the name out, maybe I want to get the age out, maybe I want to get the is cool property out or the children out, whatever, right? I know I want to get it out. Um, but maybe I don't know exactly which thing I want to get out, or maybe uh, the thing that I want to get out changes, right? So you can see an example of that here. Let's just say I go variable key is equal to name. And then I'll take this line, put that down there. 
Um, I'll get rid of this one for the time being. We don't need that anymore. Oops. Cool. So now when I run it, it's going to come back Joseph because it's, um, oh, <laughs> it's going to come back Joseph because it still says this. What I meant was this. So it's going to come back Joseph because we are using the key variable to access this. So key is set to name. We pass this in, we pass the variable in here. It interprets that as its value, which is name. And then we get back the name property of this Joseph object, which is Joseph. So now um, I can uh, then change what's inside the string. So I could change the string to say age. And now I run it again and it says 25. Or I could change the string again to say is cool. And I run that again and you can see now it says true. Or I could change it again, say children, and you can see now it says children. So the important thing about that to know is that um, using these variables is really powerful in this way. Um, and so let's think about some situations in which you might want to do that. Mm. Before we do that, actually, let's just explore. Um, now, see here, I'm using the square bracket notation, right? What do you think would happen if I tried to use the dot notation here? Console log Joseph key. Now, instead of instead of looking for a variable, instead of looking for a variable called, um, uh, you know, using our variable key and accessing the property in there, then it is going to um, here if we run it, um, it is going to come back undefined. So why is it coming back undefined in this situation? It's coming back undefined because now it's looking for a property called key. Do you see? Do you see the difference between these two things? I'll write it out again. Here. So we've got Joseph key and Joseph key. These things look like they would be the same, but this one is using the variable and successfully picking out the property. I'll do them the other way around so you can see it in the terminal. If I run it, this one uses this variable, picks out the children property. This one is trying to access some variable, uh, some property called key that does not exist in the object. So here we run it. The first one works, gets back the children. The second one, undefined. So just take a little moment and look at all of this happening. I know it's quite confusing, especially when you're new to this kind of stuff, to sort of like try and get your head around what's happening here, but just try and focus on it for a second. Okay. So now, obviously, um, Maybe I can even underline this point a little bit more, like here, up here on the Joseph object. If I put in some property called key and then just set the value to be equal to whatever. Now I run it and it comes back. Ooh, <laughs> whoops. You gotta remember to put the comma in. Now I run it and it comes back Eddie Dexter sandwiches. So you, <laughs> you see what's happening here? This top one is this line here Joseph with the variable key accessing this property. This next one. Joseph key is accessing the key property on the object, which is bringing back sandwiches. So this, just the subtle difference between these two things can have massively different results, right? Um, now, most of the time you'll see people using dot notation because dot notation is easy, especially if you're dealing with big, long objects. Let's say I have some huge object, right? And it's like data, oh, whoops. It's like data, uh, container, um, uh, header, uh, footer, you, you know, like there's a lot going on in there. Whereas if I was to do this with square bracket notation, I'd have to be like data and then open up these and then be like, oh yeah, and that is the container. And then after that, you have to do another one being like, okay, and then we're accessing the header. You know, like it's a, it's a cumbersome process writing it all out like that. It's not as elegant. Whereas this, just being able to be like, boom, 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 it's good. But dot notation has massive downsides, which is that this ability, uh, like what's going on here on line 12, the ability to use a variable as a key and then get out different properties is so handy. So um, let's say here, I'm gonna put this as um, uh, fave food is sandwiches. Now, if I get rid of all of this, let's write a function. Function, um, get value from object, and then it's gonna take two arguments. It's gonna take the object, 
and it's going to take the key. And then it is going to say, maybe it's actually going to be called print value from object. Now down here, going to console log out object key. So can you see what's happening here? I have just written a function which has the ability to take in an object and a key and then console log out whatever the value is of that key. So um, if I run the um, print value for object function from object and then um, I pass in the Joseph object and name it's gonna print me Joseph or if instead I pass in age it's gonna print 25 so you see what's happening here um, this would not be possible with dot notation if I was to do this um, you see that the function is taking in this object and um, this additional key parameter and then here if I was to be like object dot key it's gonna freak out it's gonna come back undefined because this object dot key it it's not looking at my input variable anymore it's not looking at this I'm calling the function I'm passing this in here's here's the argument it's stored as a variable like I know I know it's in there I could you know I could console log it out if I wanted to I can console log out key and it's going to come back age because that's what I'm passing in call the function pass in the key it gets assigned to that argument variable I console log it out there it is but then on line 12 I go to use object key and all of a sudden it is looking for a key parameter that doesn't exist on the object so that is the downside to dot bracket notation it's faster you can write dot, dot bracket notations all day long smash them out like nobody's business but um, these uh, square bracket notations they are more versatile actually in the long run because they give you the ability to use use variables and do really powerful things with them and that is it that is the uh, that, that kind of wraps up this video I know this is a pretty short one um, but it is a pretty specific topic during the first week of boot camp we do um, quite a lot of um, sort of these kind of like cartery style exercises oh you've got an object go into it and get out this thing or hey here's a here's a function that gives me back an object to traverse its properties or whatever and getting your head around dot versus square bracket notation at this point in foundations is going to make a massive difference when you arrive at boot camp and it comes time to do that stuff um, so I would encourage all of you to really try and have some practice doing this now do what I just did write um, you know make some objects and just explore them in the different ways that um, you have available to you see what works see what doesn't have it crash try again do that a few times and um, yeah you'll you'll be uh, in, a, in a much better place to hit the ground run, running when it comes to doing this kind of stuff on bootcamp so good luck <laughs>